Hi, welcome. My name is Kristin Nenert and I'm going uh, to give you an update on AIDA, the Interdisciplinary Earth Data Alliance. AIDA has undergone some significant changes recently. It was founded in 2009 as a partnership among multiple data systems that provide data services for the solid earth and polar sciences community uh, and include EarthCAM, the Marine Geoscience Data System, the System for Earth Sample Registration, and the US Antarctic Program Data Center. Between 2010 and 2020, AIDA was operated with funding from the US National Science Foundation as a single data facility. Today, AIDA's partner systems are funded and managed independently from each other while still remaining in this partnership at La Monde, operating with a shared infrastructure. This move towards more independence of the partner system was primarily driven by the desire to focus available resources on delivering the highest quality of fair disciplinary data that can be used uh, by broad communities, both through human and machine readable interfaces. We would thus also allow others to build the tools for cross-disciplinary data discovery and access. In order to achieve uh, this new vision, our priority for the next years is to modernize the architecture and operational environment of our systems to become more reliable, scalable, and sustainable. We have already started to re-engineer systems to API-driven and cloud-based architectures and to implement web architecture elements such as sitemaps. But it is challenging to refresh technology when you have limited resources. Another challenge uh, I see is the development, implementation, and governance of disciplinary and data type-specific standards and best practices which are necessary to network and integrate globally data resources within a given domain. For example, I would like to work with other world data system members who curate sample-based data and lab analytical data on issues such as metadata standards, vocabularies, data exchange formats, and persistent identifiers. Question, what keeps me up at night? Well, that's clearly how will we sustain our systems and our staff uh, with in an environment of soft money funding. And again, I would love to work with other World Data System members on new, innovative, but realistic business models to address this challenge and also to explore collaborations to improve our resilience. WDS should also continue advocating for more sustained funding of data facilities. With that, thank you very much.